Hello to all healthcare students everywhere. This short video aims to give you some inspiration and the will, perhaps, to understand and treat seriously the problem of low back pain. Low back pain is part of the human condition like the common cold. Almost everyone will experience it at some time. It is the second most common symptom presenting to medical practitioners worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, it is the single greatest cause of persistent disability and the most costly disorder for modern economies. About a third of people presenting to a healthcare practitioner with back pain will get better regardless of the treatment that they receive, even if they don't receive any treatment at all. However, the prognosis for the other two thirds is not as good. About a third are still getting pain and some disability a year after initial presentation, and a small proportion are seriously affected for life. What can you do about it? Well, the first thing to do is to take it seriously. Knowing how to quickly identify those that will do well regardless of treatment enables you to provide a simple, valid and cost-effective service in the one in three or one in four simple cases that you'll see. That's the first step. Knowing how to identify the one or two percent at risk of having a serious disease like infection, fracture or cancer is mostly a matter of asking some simple questions. Knowing how to identify the 10% who should see a surgeon is as simple as getting a good pain drawing and being able to do the basic neurologic screening examination. For the other group, perhaps 50% of all cases, who have neither the simplest or the most serious complaints, you will need to know more than the simple diagnostic triage recommended by national guidelines. You can start by learning about stratification, such as in the NICE guidelines. This too is not enough to be effective for perhaps 40% of patients. These people will need more than what you will probably be taught at undergraduate level. There are many postgraduate courses available and of course I'm involved in that industry. What I want you to remember from this brief talk is that guidelines are evidence-based but extremely limited in their efficacy in dealing with the overall problem. I want you to remember that contrary to a common mantra, diagnosis is possible for the majority of patients, though often unnecessary. Most of the diagnostic skills required are not involving reading MRI scans. Most of the information you need is in the history taking, the physical examination, and learning how to guide patients through self-treatment and encouraging self-efficacy. I've been diagnosing and treating simple, serious and complex back pain cases for nearly 50 years. It has never become boring and I've always felt valued as a clinician. You can become part of a new generation of caring, effective and valued clinicians by taking low back pain and also neck pain as seriously as I always have. Good luck with your training and exams.